Now that we're finished with the dough, we can go ahead and prepare all of our toppings for the pizza. The first thing I'd like to do is to show you how to make the sauce. For Neapolitan style pizza, pizza yellows use San Marzano tomatoes. So with your can of tomato sauce here, you're going to just open it up and pour it right into your food processor. Or you can even just use a hand blender, that also, that also works. Go ahead and pour all of your tomatoes in your food processor. To create a classic Neapolitan style sauce, all you really need are three ingredients. You need the tomatoes themselves, some fresh basil leaves, and some salt. But let's go ahead and put our basil into our food processor along with our tomatoes. Add your salt. Now proceed to put your lid on your food processor and blend away. Okay, now our sauce is prepared and we can just go ahead and put it in the fridge or leave it out for when we need it. On your pizza, I recommend using fior di latte cheese. Uh, it's basically a fresh mozzarella that you can get at basically any grocery store. Some grocery stores may not have them, so you may need to look a little more carefully. All you really need to do to cut the fior di latte is to just make a cut like this, and then to make a few cuts like so. The cheese should come out to about this shape, so it should be long and narrow. So watch again. And if you want to speed it up, you can do a few at a time like this. And you can take them, stack them like so, and then do a few at this at the same time. Just break it up like so, and there is your fior di latte. You want your cheese to be fairly uniform, like so. Make sure that they are all around the same size. Now that we have all of our toppings prepared, we are now ready to make our pizza. Let's do it.